Hello and welcome to the iCandy channel. In this episode, I'm going to be talking all about ND filters. Now, ND filters are basically sunglasses for your lens, which allow you to maintain a constant shutter speed without having to change your shutter speed in any situation. All you need to do is spin the ND filter and there you have it. Your, your image is exposed correctly. Without having an ND filter, you'd have to keep messing about with your camera's um, shutter speed or, or aperture, etc., which we, do, we sometimes we don't want to do because there are rules. There are certain rules that you don't really want to break, like the 180 degree rule, which says that if you shoot at 25 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be exactly double that, 1 50th, in order to maintain like a motion blur. Basically, what is a motion blur? Motion blur is when you have um, movement in a frame and you want to make sure that in between those movements you can actually see some motion. It makes the footage look very natural. So an ND filter will allow you to actually maintain the shutter speed constant, leaving your footage with a constant uh, natural looking motion blur. Just as a side point, when you buy yourself an ND filter, make sure you get the variable ND filter type and not the separate um, ND filters which you have to uh, kind of put one and then and then attach it to another one in order to get the desired result because this could take up too much of your time messing about with the um with your camera you don't want to keep messing about with it you want to have one nd filter on your camera where you can change it uh, whenever you need to another tip is make sure you get an nd filter which is as big as possible meaning the diameter of it should be as big as possible and even if your lens is like a 72 millimeter you should still get an, an ND filter which is even bigger in case you ever decide to buy a new lens which is bigger because a big ND filter can even fit on small lenses and you do that by using step up converters like for example this one this step up converter screws to the end of my tiny little 46 millimeter lens and steps it up to 72 millimeter then what I do is I place my ND filter onto the end of the step up converter and that allows me to um, to use the ND filter on any lens basically. Now there are situations where I wouldn't even recommend using an ND filter because first of all ND filters do reduce a little bit of the color information that's coming into the sensor but sometimes you've got to compensate color detail for motion blur and it just depends on the what kind of work you're doing. I mean, if you're doing like kind of recording football match, for example, you definitely want to forego some of that color that you're probably getting from the from the grass and from the players for motion blur, because motion blur is very important in such a high speed sport. You don't want to see the ball like appearing one place and then moving, like literally jumping across the screen because each frame is separate. You want to make sure that they're all connected. So in that kind of scenario, an ND filter is a must. But in a situation where people aren't really moving, like for example, a wedding reception, or if you're recording details, like for example, bridal rings, flowers, or things like that, that aren't really moving, then you could just change the shutter speed, add some shutter, add, add to it so you can get correct exposure. You don't have to use a ND filter. ND filters are really only good for fast moving objects. As a side point, I'm gonna make a separate video about when to break the rule of having the shutter speed double the frame rate because this is a very big misconception in videography and many people think that you should always have the shutter speed double the frame rate but I'm going to prove that it's actually not a good idea always and uh, that's going to be a separate video which I'm going to link to right here. So anyway this was the iCandy channel educating filmmakers to make better footage and better videos. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like the video. Goodbye for now.